Hi folks, David Creative Craft House to show you our Coast Guard Challenge Puzzle. This is uh, one of our own unique designs done to uh, honor the um, men and women of the Coast Guard, in particular my brother Rick, who uh, spent most of his career in Juneau, is an environmental officer and works for the uh, state of Alaska now doing pretty much the same thing, working closely with the Coast Guard. Um, this is a, a quite a beautiful puzzle, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm going to package it unsolved because uh, Rick's got the challenge of uh, seeing how long it will take him to solve this thing and see if he can be beat my brother Tom in his auto mechanic challenge, which we issued a short time ago. Uh, it will come with a, a base that you see here, and uh, this is a cover. The uh, cover will uh, allow you to put everything away uh, quite neatly, hold the pieces in place uh, once it's solved anyway. Uh, and it sits in the cover like so, and will come uh, with the uh, last piece on top that you've got to get in there. Now the wood uh, pieces are, are cut from various different woods. Um, they're all quarter inch thick, so quite strong. We try to cut thin sections with the grain. So uh, they, they may not last, uh, they're not indestructible, but they should last a long, long time with their just reasonable care. This is a very difficult puzzle. Um, I know kids will enjoy it, but this is going to be a significant challenge even for the best of the puzzle experts. Um, because the thing about these puzzles is that you can get all the pieces in but one and think you may be close, but in fact every single piece may be wrong, which is the case here. Now the types of wood used in this particular one, this is beetle kill pine, uh, we've got some mahogany, uh, we've got some maple, we've got some cherry, and I guess that's about it. There could be some alder here. Um, Every one will be a little different because we'll vary the woods. I have six, well, I have eight different woods that I use for these. I'll have a nice uh, lacquer finish. Uh, and they're all precision cut and laser engraved, um, uh, the details. It's not ink, so this, ain't, this isn't coming out. Um, for this particular one, um, we've got um, uh, some things that the Coast Guard folks will recognize in a hurry. This is a uh, H-130 uh, aircraft. This is the National Security Cutter. This is a Dolphin H-65 helicopter. This is a, a buoy tender. Uh, we've got a cleat. We've got a response boat, medium response boat. We've got a prop. We've got a, uh, we've got a flipper. We've got a Coast Guard hat. Uh, Lifesaver. This is a, a bowline, bowline knot out of wood. The Coast Guard emblem. A uh, revolver, a whistle, a life jacket, and we can't forget our coastie here. So, um, uh, quite a few pieces, and this, as I said, will keep you going quite a long time. I I'm doing one for each of the branches of the service. We've issued uh, Air Force al already. This is done for my son, who's in the Air Force. Uh, and Army is, um, we've got the design done, uh, I'll be issuing that shortly, and uh, Marines is almost done, uh, that will be issued shortly too, and we still have yet to start uh, the Navy, but w it will be, be out there uh, soon. Alright, thanks very much.